All right, next we are going to show you how to properly install a bit into a collet. And this will be the same whether it's for a Porter cable router or a spindle. What we're looking for here is the shaft diameter. So some router bits will have a quarter inch, three-eighths of an inch, goes bigger to up to half, smaller down to an eighth. So they're all going to be the same depending on the size. The spindle ones are interchangeable where the collet will pull out and you'll put the other one in. Make sure it's clipped in and you want to make sure with your bits that you have pushed them in far enough that when it gets tightened down that there's enough meat in here that when it gets tightened this bit will not come loose and come out or move while cutting. So a rule of thumb is to push it in all the way to just about to where the cutter is. When you get to that actual cutting surface and you push that up in there that could damage the cutting surface. So you want to back that out a little bit. But you also want to make sure while you're doing this that this isn't sticking out too far on the back side or it could bottom out up inside of the uh, spindle or router. So kind of watch for both. Make sure you've got you know at least three quarters of the length of that shaft up inside your collet. You're not going to damage the uh, cutter by going too far and it's not sticking out too far up into the, into the uh, spindle or router. So if you have it like this, now you'd be okay to go ahead and install it onto your shop box.